it's your girl k marie and i'm back with another video so today as y'all see at the title below truth or drink yes truth or drink Mhm, mm mhm. Mm is y'all ready for this i haven't done nothing like this in a while well i have never done a, a truth or drink video basically this is my first time doing one and uh we're basically gonna be asking each other questions and stuff so you ready you ready? You ready to tell the truth? Hey guys, it's your girl Kevin Reno back with another video. As y'all see at the title below, it's called Truth or Drink. So I never done a video like this. Um, this video been highly requested, so I'm doing it for y'all. As y'all say the title below, Truth or Drink. Y'all ready for this Truth or Drink? You ready for this Truth or Drink? Uh, okay. I thought it was Truth or Dare. Truth or Who's Drink. Who's ever heard of Truth or Drink? <laughs> so basically, basically, you if you don't want to tell the truth, you got to take a drink. Now, if you want to, and, and, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to tell the truth, you got to take a drink. Okay. Um, so you ready to tell the truth? I know you got a lot of secrets inside of you. You wanted, wanted to um, uh, plan out tonight. Uh, my my no, I, I don't have that that many secrets. So mm -hmm. I probably we, I probably won't be drinking much. <laughs> we gonna see. So as y'all can see, I got the little coconut something, coconut pine, that pine. I coconut. think that's called pina colada. And uh, this is some um moscato, whatever it's called, it's moscato. Drink. It's called for your information. You probably already know pink moscato. So, Hello. And then we got this other drink right here. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's uh Sabetka vodka. <laughs> y'all y'all know we finna get drunk tonight. David I know David got a lot of secrets he wanna say. Right there, mm -hmm. guys, I was not lying. It's supposed to be a truth or drink. You better start drinking right now. Now, I know you got. I know you got a lot of secrets inside of you. You wanna, you wanna blast out tonight. I know you got a lot. Uh, you I, I, I'm, say. I'm pretty. My my life per, pretty boring. Mm -hmm. Not nothing really exciting happened. <laughs> okay, good. So y'all see us back in the next clip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. <laughs> she went up to use the bathroom. While she's using the bathroom, I want to tell you a little secret, okay? She ain't gonna know this, cause I'm gonna edit this motherfucker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this video, okay? I put some truth serum, you know, like the dentist will give their patients when they pull a tooth. I put some truth serum in the drink, so she's literally gonna tell the truth or not tell the truth, however the case may be. But she, she doesn't know it. I put it in her drink, not mine. <laughs> Okay, y'all, stay tuned now. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You ready? You ready to answer some questions? Uh, I'm ready. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all two, you two, were y'all ready? You, you, you guys can answer them too. <laughs> the only thing is, mm. you ain't gonna be able to record them. Okay, so what's your first question, K. Okay, Marie? Um, the first question, it would be, um, have you ever got your booty licked before? <laughs> <laughs> what the? See you for the bottles. <laughs> Get your ass over. <laughs> oh my god, I trust myself out, man. Man, man you, my you, where you come up with these questions? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like <laughs> when you first fall off your bicycle or something like that. <laughs> okay. So what's your, what question you have you want, for me? You want to play that kind of a game? What question you have for me? Uh. Have you ever had a woman, a girl, lick your coochie? <laughs> I 
Ah, that stuff nasty. That stuff was nasty. Okay. Ooh. I act like my. I'm glad. I'm glad I got. I'm glad I got some pizza and wings for later on. Okay. I'm dying already. <laughs> okay. So I gotta, should I should I dare ask, say next question? Yeah, you already answered. I already answered my question already. So I gotta ask you a question. That's I know you're getting ready. Right yeah. So my next question for you, David Walker. Do you really do you really like black girls? True. Okay. 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 You want me to elaborate or just say just say yes or no? <laughs> You got a question for me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> going along the same line. <laughs> got a question? Has a girl ever licked your cushy? No. 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 How many times did you see Bigfoot as a kid? When you was like nine to ten years old, like at that time, how many times you seen him? I literally saw two different times. Once when I was eleven, and once when I was twenty-five. When I was eleven, I was camping out, and when I was twenty-five, I was coming home from work, mm -hmm. and I seen it clear in the bottom of a of, of a river, river bottom. Mm -hmm. I was looking for deer coming home, and I I saw this great big tall thing, and I'm like, what is that? That can't be what I what it looks like. So I pulled off the road, mm -hmm. and I had binoculars because I look at deer with binoculars, you know. Mm -hmm. Put the binoculars on it, and I literally seen this hairy beast standing there. Of course, it was looking at me because it saw me pull off the road. It was looking my way. It's about like two hundred yards away. It wasn't really close or anything. Right. But it's still a little on the spooky side because I when I put the binoculars on it, I I could see the I could see its eyes. I can see its face. I can see. Okay, y'all, y'all know where we're going with this. Ask you another question. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had a girl suck your titties? Yes, I have. Suck your titties. Yes. I really have. Um. Yes. Yeah, so we. Was... Could Could you tell us about the experience? <laughs> Uh, it was different, you know, it was different. Um, me and this girl, we was real good friends, so it, 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 it was okay. I, I want to say it was all that. It was okay. It was okay. Um, how long did this transpire for? Not that long. Probably like maybe five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes? It's, it's, that, that's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think she'd do it for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What time? What time um, is you? I have a, I have you uh, another? After the, so after oh, this, another question? So have you ever have you ever licked have you ever licked the girl pussy while she was on her period? <laughs> Say yeah. I I just don't want to answer the question. I drank. Secret, secrets, secrets, secrets. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't admit anything like that. Did I? Did y'all see me admit anything? Secrets, secrets. Okay, your turn to ask me a question. Okay. Um. Where was the uh, the craziest place? That you ever had sex at? Ah, that stuff tastes nasty. 
Y'all better be glad I'm doing this for a video. Y'all better be glad I'm doing this for a video. I'm gonna make me some more of this stuff. <laughs> I kinda like it. <laughs> I, t I think it's a pina colada in it, man. I, I love that shit. Ooh, I love it. Okay. You don't want to answer the question? YouTubers want to know where was the craziest place you had sex at? Was but I already drunk. already drunk. You could still answer the question. Oh, the craziest places I uh, had sex at is probably in Walmart bathroom. Walmart bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> in the bathroom in Walmart. <laughs> it's got... This guy paid me two hundred dollars to, to fuck him in Walmart. He paid me. <laughs> yeah, I did two for two hundred dollars. <laughs> and it was a quickie too, y'all. Was a, it I did it for fifty. It won now. It won now, but ten minutes. Gave me two hundred dollars for ten minutes. <laughs> he was a Spanish dude too. Y'all know them Spanish dudes like, like to spend money. A what? Spanish? It was a time for me to ask you a question now, ain't it? I already, yep. I already asked you the question. Time for you to ask me one. Yeah, go yeah ahead. that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, go ahead. Um, <sighs> what's all, all this? Okay, so if if I if I if I went to the hospital and got my titties cut down to a C cup, would you still like me? Oh man, I told you that. I'll give you that answer a thousand times. It doesn't, and it doesn't matter if you had, if she had a B cup. You know what I'm saying? It's not the size of her titties, although they're great. Mm -hmm. Um, that, that, that's not what you know really matter. What matters is, as you can see, what kind of a crazy person she is. She does have a really sweet personality, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter what the, uh, well, put it this way. I like, a, a, a girl has to have a pretty face for me. I, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't deal with the woman. I don't care if she had Zazuku uh, boobs. If she has a bad face, I'm not interested. Yeah. I like, you have to have a nice face for me, you know, like as, as in a girlfriend or like you mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be. If you get a, a bad face, I'm sorry, I, I saw some people in the store today where I work at, mm -hmm. I'm like, no way. No way, I, I couldn't deal with that. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't handle that. Nah, gotta have a pretty face. That's time for you to ask me a question now. Huh? Okay. Uh, when I contacted you on, on Instagram, I believe it was, mm -hmm. and you hit me back up, well, why, why, what made you hit me back up? Why did you hit me back? What, or either, why did you hit me back up, or why did you keep on, you know, texting me and and, and, and trying to find out about me too? So, mm -hmm. so just just go ahead and and tell the YouTubers basically how our friendship got started. Um, I hit you back up because you kept commenting on my videos and stuff, and then you know you said when you true. seen Very September eleven. And you seen that I had put September 11 on my page. You said, "Oh, my birthday is September 11 too." So basically, that's 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 started. That's, that's how we that's how we started connect to each other. Cause we kept texting and texting for a while before we even got a chance to meet up. And um, months after that, that's when we found, I moved back to Atlanta. And then we, you know he ended up picking me up from the bus station, and then it went from there. Ever since then, it's been almost four years, and we still friends today. And what really made um. It all, uh, we just had a lot of different things in common besides the birthday and uh, mm -hmm. and the other thing was the fact that um, she she was from Riverdale. No, 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 correct me, Jones, Jonesboro. Yeah, I stayed in Jonesboro. She stayed in years. Jonesboro in Georgia mm -hmm. and I was, I stayed in Riverdale. Mm -hmm. Anybody that knows where Jonesboro and Riverdale is, mm -hmm. I had to make sure the numbers go up and see at the top. Yeah. That, that the video's still running. No, it's only um, 10, minutes, 10 minutes away from each other. I'm like, you're from Jones. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. She goes, yeah. I goes, I live in Riverdale. She goes, what? I go, yeah. She goes, oh, my God. She said, when I move back, we're going to have to go out and have dinner or something together. I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Most definitely. I'm thinking, 
Here this woman, here this beautiful woman is, young woman, mm -hmm. gorgeous, and I admit, you know, I, I like the size of her boobs, you know, and but I was hitting up, I was hitting up a lot of women with big boobs, you know what I'm saying? She's the only one that responded, and so it's like, I'm actually going to get to meet this girl. Are you serious? And then she goes, Yeah, um, Boo, can you pick me up at the bus stop? I go, pick, 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 pick you up the bus stop. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. I'm like, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll be there. Okay, and that's time for me to ask you a question. Let me see what I'm actual. <laughs> They're waiting. They're waiting. Hello. They ain't got all day. Okay, so that time when me and you got into it, and that time when you left the house and you said you was at the park that night. Yeah. I texted you and I said, I said, boo, you still mad at me? And you was like, a little bit, but not really. And I said, okay, where you at? And you was like, I'm sitting at the park. I'm in Morrow still, but I'm still at the park. You know, the park place we always go hang out at. I said, yeah, I'm still there. I've been here for almost half an hour and I just in my car, Crystal, just thinking. I said, oh, okay. So in that car, when you was thinking at night, was you texting somebody else or you was just, in your feelings. No, I was uh, yeah in my feelings. I was just sitting there thinking. Mm -hmm. I wasn't texting nobody else. There wasn't nobody, nobody else to text uh, other than my 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 kids and the, you know I'm not I'm not I, I don't I don't do that. I I don't go back to my family and tell them what was going on with me and my relationship. I'm I keep that stuff to myself. I that that's nobody else's business but me, mm -hmm. me and God's. And I so I was like. Invite God into the conversation. I was, I was, I was mm -hmm. feeling different things about that, but no, I wasn't texting nobody else. Is that what basically what your question was? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Time for me to ask you one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, when you first met me, the bus stop, whatever, mm -hmm. and you, we looked at each other, and you go, "Okay, okay," sizing me up, <laughs> and I'm and I'm looking at you, and I'm going, "Whew, damn, man." <laughs> that's all you can say when you see here. <laughs> I told you, I told Scott. Get to the point now. Get to the point. The point is, is um, did you think we was gonna be together as long as what we, as long as what we have been? <laughs> I knew that was driving a drink. <laughs> she gonna have to take a long. She got to drink it all before she answers that one. <laughs> Ah, look at that face. Ah, I gave you the same stuff I gave, I gave me, and I love the stuff. Woo, man. Can't handle the hard stuff, you know what I mean? Can't handle the hard stuff. Nah, I ain't think we was going to be together this long. Because I know me, and I know, and, I, and I know me how I used to be. If I meet a guy, and and we, you know, I see a guy, and I, I want to be with him for like maybe a week or so, and I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the road. I'm, I'm traveling again. I'm going to a new, a new city. So yeah, I didn't. I'm being. I'm being honest. I didn't think we were gonna be friends for this long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This this game is about truth. Truth to drink, right? I'm telling the truth. Yeah. So. Well, no, I had no problem with that because, because let me let me let me ask, ask me the same question because I'm gonna tell them um, my version of what I thought too. Okay. So you gotta say what did you what did you think? So what do you think about? about us being friends and you think we was going to be friends for this long or how would what was no, going yeah, to be Well, yeah, I knew we was, we was be friends for for a little while. Mm -hmm. But as far as staying together, excuse me, um, no, I, I was telling people in my work, I met this this, this beautiful woman, I, I showed mm -hmm. her, I showed them your picture and um, they, they, they said, oh, so is that your girlfriend? I said, well, I wouldn't call my girlfriend because to be honest with you, I don't think she's gonna hang around that long. I mean, yeah. come on. I'm twice as old as she is. She just needed a little place to stay for a little bit to kind of, kind of, uh, so she can kind of come up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, what what they what else do they call that? Get on her feet till she can get on her feet. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody that knows me personally knows, K Marie. Oh, she on oh, she meet somebody. She only gonna meet, she only gonna be hanging out with him for a couple of days or maybe a week, and then she off she off she to the gone. next. She off She's to the gone. next. <laughs> I'm hitting the road, going out of town some other motherfucking world. So, I guess my next question would be, mm. why didn't you? 
because I got tired of um I got tired of moving around so much. That's that's the main reason. Because if that was the case, I would have been already gone by now. You know what I'm saying? And I looked at it because, you know, maybe maybe it's time for me to just slow down. But I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna travel in in the future. But you know, when you have your when you have a book that you're working on and you have your documentary that you're working on, you're gonna wanna just chill out for a minute and start to keep traveling every motherfucking month. I travel anybody that knows me, I travel I was traveling every month, going to different cities. Cities after next, city after next. Everywhere you look, I'm going to a different city. But since I don't got older now, because I'm 30, I just turned 30 this year, and you know, got my book coming out, got my documentary coming out. So right, right now, I'm just focusing on putting that together. Once I put that together, maybe I start back traveling again. But right now, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, completely a turn a turnaround mm -hmm. as far as the questions goes. Um, what's the, what's the scariest thing that ever happened to you? The scariest thing? The scariest thing that ever happened to you. Um. Or if you, if, if, if you want to, maybe I can reword it and say what's the, what's the scariest thing that you saw? Or, or how, you can answer that question however you want. What's something really scary? I know you like scary movies. And mm -hmm. That's why I'm proposing the question to her because she loves scary movies. Okay, so you 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 might laugh, the YouTube people might laugh or whatever, but I'm I'm just I'm I'm being true because this game is called Truth or Drink, so I'm, I want to tell the truth. Now my experience about seeing y'all know I don't know y'all probably seen the Le Lebacon in the Hood. Y'all seen that movie before? Okay, if y'all seen Lebacon in the Hood, then y'all should know which one I'm talking about. Which, you know, which, um, which movie, which level, because there's a lot of level cons in the hood. What was the name of the movie? It's called Level Con in the Hood. Leprechaun in the Hood. It won a Bust Around, you know who Bust Around is, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the movie. That's the name of the movie. I've but, heard it all now, Hubbard. <laughs> you know who Bust Around is, right? The, 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 the rapper Bust Around. <laughs> you know, he, okay, y'all probably in the YouTube world. Bust Around. Y'all probably know his name Buster Ryan. He's a rapper. Y'all, you two world. <laughs> his name is Buster Ryan. He's a rapper. He played on this movie called uh, Level Con in the Hood. <laughs> so, then, like I say, David might laugh. Y'all might laugh. But when I was, I say, when I was six years old, when I was six years old, I seen Level Con for the first time. Because, it, because me and my cousins... We was downstairs in the um living room watching TV. Remind y'all, Levicon kept coming on back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back all night long. And when me and my cousin, we was getting ready to run upstairs to get ready to go to bed. So as we running up the stairs getting ready to go to bed, mm -hmm. we turn all the lights off. And so when we turn all the lights off, I said, Ashley, wait on me. Tell my cousin Ashley, wait on me. So I said, I gotta go to the bathroom, Ashley, I gotta go to the bathroom. So I run to the bathroom, use the bathroom, child. When I get out of the bathroom, when I run to the room, level car right there behind my door. When I tell you I freaked out, I was screaming, I'm beating on my auntie door. She said, girl, why are you waking me up, girl? Why are you trying to wake me up, girl? And I said, auntie, is somebody in here? Is somebody in here? So I ran back in my room and Ashley and Titi, they, we all slept in the bed together because I wanted them to sleep with me because I was so fucking scared and frightened. So they all slept in the bed with me. But as I, as I was laying next to um, cause my mama would tell my mama was there that day too. Cause my mama was uh, in the bed with us that day. She was living with us at the time too. I was six years old at the time. Yeah, my mama was with us too at that time. So my mama was in. My mama was laying at the foot. Did your Did your mama see it too? No, she didn't see it. My mom was laying at the foot. Ashley uh, was laying on the other side of me, and Titi was laying on the other side of me. So I was in the middle. So when I peeked my head, when you know how y'all peek. Look under the covers and then y'all move the covers from your face. So I moved the covers from my face and as I was peeping, as I was peeping, the lover car was standing like right there in the closet looking jekyll at me, laughing. So remind you, I had a gold, I had a gold name plate necklace, right? I had a gold name plate necklace and a gold um bracelet and a gold ring. Now remind you, my gold bracelet and my um gold necklace and my gold ring was on the dresser. Y'all might, y'all might gonna find this funny. They, my friend, they might find this funny, but I put this on my grandma. 
I see that little leprechaun demon man. He took my goat and ran with it. And the next day I woke up, my jewelry wasn't even on the dresser no more. And I told my auntie, I tried to explain to my auntie, girl, no leprechaun took your jewelry. There ain't no leprechaun took your jewelry. You left it at school somewhere. I said, auntie, why would I leave my jewelry at school somewhere? I said, Ashley, did you see something in the closet last night? Auntie, we did see something in the closet last night. Auntie, we seen that whatever that was, if it wasn't a level car, it probably was like, like a little demon man or something. It had to have been something because I had my gold necklace, my gold ring, and my gold bracelet on the dresser. And I watched, I don't even know if it was a level car or a demon, whatever it was. I watched whoever that thing was. I watched that thing take my gold off that dresser and it ran. And the next day, my jewelry was not sitting on the dresser. That shit was gone. Well, that's a pretty wild story. Um, I'm not saying I doubt you or anything, but uh, I know we've all had some bad, some pretty weird things that have happened to us. So mm -hmm. I'm not saying so that's a, that's a I'm scariest. not saying it didn't happen. Uh, but that's really a I, that's really a wild story to and have. I, and I know, and I know what I seen. I know what I seen that night. Never had anybody tell me that a demon stole their jewelry before. I don't know if it was a demon or a lover con, but it was somebody that I seen that night. But um And I was the one seeing it and my cousin was the one seeing it. It was a long even though it was a long time ago, but nobody else wasn't there but us. And I'm telling my story because I know what I seen. I know what I saw. And I'm sure if the YouTube people could talk and mm -hmm. tell some stories, we'd be here all night long. Right. Here and having people tell their tell their stories of of a, well, say a paranormal stories of, mm -hmm. of weird and ghostly so, apparitions they have seen. When you ask me what's the scariest thing, right. that's, okay. just, that's, that's the scariest thing that That was the question. That, that was a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so you got a question for me? Yep, I got a quote. I know we've been friends for like um, good, almost four years, getting close to four years now. Three and a half years, I would have to say. Um, so do you ever like Think, think I'm holding you back from dating or talking to anybody else? No, because um, I've had to, I had, I don't have, I guess if, if you can just put a very really sum it up, I guess once you, you've you known the best and you're, mm. you're friends with, with, with the best, I don't really have any desire for anybody else now. I'm not saying I haven't seen women as beautiful as you, mm -hmm. uh, because I have, but they just don't trigger the same response. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't really get overly excited about it, mm -hmm. and I don't really think about uh, this because I guess when you, when I, when a guy has a friend like you, and we do all kinds of stuff together, mm -hmm. and uh, look out for each other. I don't. I don't really have any desire, really, to, yeah. to 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 go. I'm not like one of them kind of guys that got. I got to have ten ten women on the line at the same time. Mm -hmm. I've done that one time, and that gets dangerous. That gets really dangerous right. because I had one woman's husband pound on my door, and he had a shotgun in his hand. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I didn't answer the door, and also guess what? After I got out of that night, barely hanging on with my life. Mm. I vowed to myself I wasn't doing that shit no more. So since then, from that moment on, I've always been a one woman man. Like you said, we've been good for three and a half years. Mm. Have you ever had? Um, have you ever had sex with a guy during that time period? Yeah, when we first met. Yeah, when I I was still making extra money on the side. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I was still dealing with somebody else. Yeah. When you say extra money, what exactly are you hustling, referring to? Hustling. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get too personal with it, but yeah, hustling. You know, when people have to hustle to make extra money, then y'all know what I'm exactly what I'm talking about. Well, okay. I, feel little, I feel a little tipsy. <laughs> the like the drink getting to me a little bit. <laughs> I think that was the purpose of the video. <laughs> I could be wrong. Get a little tipsy, and have some fun. I mean, am I wrong, you two? <laughs> she get a little tipsy. She says, "Oh, yeah. I've been tipsy since the first drink." So, um, 
I got no. a question for I'm you. I'm just naturally this way. To I be truthful with you. <laughs> I got I got a question for you. Okay, shoot. Have you ever had sex on top of the washing machine? <laughs> Can we do this like what's your favorite sport or <laughs> no have you ever what's the biggest deer you ever shot if you don't want to answer you got to drink he don't want to answer i i guess he don't want to tell his story about him fucking somebody on top of the washing machine <laughs> look at him go look at him go <laughs> you don't want to help with that What's so funny? He don't want to answer that. Drank, I just drank from my glass. He don't want to answer that, yo. You got a God question for on. me? You got a question for me? Yeah. Um. Let's see. You'll probably get mad at me for this and probably want to hit me. Mm. What's your bra size? I told you, she, she ain't gonna answer that. Oh my gosh. Hers is different. How could it be different? But I could you put the same stuff in it, right? But I could feel I could feel myself getting a little tipsy. That's why I say that's why I told you to get the pizza and wings because after I we get done doing this video, I'm gonna have to eat. Cause mm -hmm. eating then it helps helps me from not getting so drunk. But right now I feel a little tipsy. But when I start back eating, I won't feel so bad. Right, right. You'll calm, calm, calm down a little bit. Right, because right now, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But um. Okay, my uh, now who turned to ask a question? I forget. <laughs> damn! Wait a minute. I'm supposed to ask you a question. I don't know who turn is. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you had asked me a question, didn't you? I just said, I can't. <laughs> oh my God. Wait a minute. I'm getting a little drunk now. Hold on. <laughs> before, before it was tipsy. Now she drunk. She went from tipsy to drunk and never even drank any more. Just ask the question. I'm gonna just ask him a question. Um, what's your favorite sex position? <laughs> you not gonna ask him. You ain't gonna tell you gonna tell YouTube what's your favorite sex position? You can't you can't answer that because you already <laughs> drunk to it now. I can answer, I can answer it. I'm not ashamed to answer it. I'll answer, okay? Child. Doggy style. Doggy style is your favorite position. You got a question for me? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do five more questions and then we're gonna end the video. What's your favorite position? <laughs> I guess she plays the fifth. She drank it all. Remember what we said. When you drank it all, we gotta add some more. What are you adding about? Yeah, that's what I'm fixing to do. That's why I got the bottle opened. Whew. Go ahead and fix it, boy. Ooh, Jesus. Y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm glad I'm at home doing this. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm at home drinking because if I was somewhere else, I don't know what would have been happening. I'm glad I'm at home drinking. Well, one thing wouldn't be happening. You wouldn't be driving. That's for doggone sure. <laughs> I'd be driving. You got to put some of that white stuff in that boo? Color, color I got on. <laughs> oh. she, yeah, she's over the limit. 
I probably shouldn't fix for this drink. Gotta do it for the fans. <sighs> do it for the fan. Do it for you, YouTube. Gotta do it for the fan. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Do it for the fans. Hey, I see you. But she's she, she just a little tipsy. She's just a little oh. tipsy. <laughs> I'd say a lot tipsy. A lot tipsy. Hey, what happened? I haven't finished a drink yet. <laughs> Hold on there, Charlie. Hold on. Oh. Uh-huh. There you go. Now let me let me jerk it around. Oh, stir it around a little bit. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh. Are you drunk or you tipsy? <laughs> it's a question. Is it yes or no? It's a yes or no. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little out the way, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I don't know what you're saying, but can you please explain it? The craziest place I ever had sex at? Mm-hmm. It was, uh, okay, I'll go ahead and answer this. I, I, I could drink, but I'll go ahead and answer it. On a rock, on a rock in the woods. Out in the woods, out in the open, you know how to get that little green uh green moss on the rocks right all over that rock buddy uh, i laid down i said come on baby let's do it in the wild and she said oh i like a kinky man man she jumped on top of me and all you can see probably from a distance you couldn't see me because you on top of me. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Granddaddy. This is your granddaddy. Come again? It's your brother? This is your granddaddy. This is your granddaddy. Oh, well, hell no. We got to end this video now. She's drunker than a skunk, guys. No. We got, we got, we got two more to go. We got two more to go. Like you've been counting. <laughs> okay, you, <laughs> okay. Um, so you wrote this book called uh, Supernatural mm -hmm. Dreams. Mm -hmm. Tell the YouTube folks uh, um, how you come to write this book. I love it when she tells a story. Mm -hmm. Did you have some dreams or did you just have a fascination? Or did, did you really have dreams? Or what was the reason that you wrote this book? I mean, yeah, you had, I know you told me you had some dreams, but mm. why did you choose to write about this? Um, because, you know, I had a person dream, and it was about a guy that I like, and. Must be me. And, um, God was just giving me, like, God was just telling me, He was warning me about certain things. He was like, Kevin Marie, you need to write this book. You need to put this book out because the universe, the world needs to hear it. So that's that's the main reason why I wrote the book because I had a personal dream about it and I liked this guy and you know, and God just kept telling me, so giving me a wonder, giving me a sign. Kevin Marie, put the book out, put the story out because you never know. He might, he might, he might don't notice you right now, but he was he would soon notice the book. People read the book. When they read the book, um, y'all probably gonna know who I'm talking about, but when y'all when y'all read the book, it's gonna be based off the dream. That's why it's called Living in a Supernatural Dream. Because it's, the book is based, the story is based off on a dream. Because mm -hmm. I still got one more question to ask you, then you but you gotta ask me another one. Mm -hmm. So let me see what question I got for you. Um let me see. How many fights you have got in? How many fights have you got into as as growing up? <laughs> oh, gosh. Do I have enough fingers to count? Um, in school, about five. 
Mm-hmm. But there was a there was a time at, when I got out of school that I kind of fought on a we'll say professional type basis, mm-hmm. not with boxing gloves, just street fighting and stuff. Right. And uh, there there it was probably about a dozen fights till I finally got some sense knocked into me when someone almost killed me by hit, taking a brick and hitting me on the head and uh, landing me. In a, in a in a in a hospital in, in an emergency room, mm-hmm. that I just quit. I said that no more for me. That's not for me. Because <laughs> I I, did, I wouldn't be here talking to you if I'd have kept it up probably. Yeah. So uh, yeah, when I was in school, somebody called me. Uh, um, can I say this? The, the words on here, or do I have to just like abbreviate them? You can abbreviate them. You don't want to. Someone that. called me an mf'er, and that's all she wrote. That's one thing you didn't right? Mm-hmm. No, okay. nobody has yet been able to drink me under the table. This is so nope. My uncle, my uncle Homer, man, he he liked that. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Jack Daniels, Jack Daniels whiskey. Mm-hmm. Shot. Shot, shot. So when <laughs> when he wasn't looking, I so I started drinking the shots. Well, I got my ass beat because he found out I was drinking. But every time he would leave to go to work, I'd get the bottle out. I'd drink a few shots every now and then. So I got to where I was drinking that like water. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty hard for me. I got to drink a lot to be able to really start getting really tipsy. Hey, See, ask, she just about upset the cup. You gotta ask me a question. As everybody said, I'm, I'm gonna ask you. A, one more question, y'all. One, one more question. What could that be? What could that be? Okay. Um, have can you tell me? Can you tell you, you two people? Why would somebody add that have got the same page as you've got? You got so many people that are copywriting you. Mm-hmm. And I think YouTube people know <clears throat> that when you try to imitate somebody, the flattery is is is, is the reason why you're trying to imitate somebody because really you're envious of that person. And she's had thousands and thousands of people to pretend to be me. Pretend to be her. And that's why recently this year my my old Instagram and my old YouTube channel got hacked by somebody. And they changed the e- they changed the email, they changed the Google account, they changed the name, they even changed the name of the Instagram and I feel they feel like just because they hacked my YouTube channel and they hacked my Instagram, they feel like they won, but they really didn't. They really didn't because what comes around goes around. You do even if on people, that shit gonna come back on you twice as hard. Mm-hmm. Trust and believe that. Most definitely. Well, I've never had anybody try to hack mine, my, my, my channel. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say is um, I'm probably a nobody. Mm-hmm. She's a somebody. She, she's really got talents going out to Watushi. Uh, and as you can see, she's not really into telling me what those talents are right now. Mm-hmm. But uh, she's a very talented girl. My best friend, and uh, even though we're drinking and tipsy, and we've had a ton of laughs already. Um, uh, I do, I do really, really love her very much as a, as, a, as a friend, a gorgeous person, and I do anything for. Her. She already knows that. I have done stuff for her, a lot of stuff, and she's always also helped me out and done stuff for me too. It's not just been one sided. Everybody thinks, ah, that old white man, he's her sugar daddy. No, I don't have enough money to be a sugar daddy. You gotta have thousands and thousands and millions and millions of dollars to be a sugar daddy. I ain't got that kind of money. I, I do make a, a good living, but it's not no sugar daddy living. So uh, I'm not a sugar daddy. We're just really good friends. And uh, you don't get a friendship like this very often. It's like once in a lifetime. And so I'm taking my lifetime mm-hmm. and, I'm, and I'm enjoying the rest of my life. I'm enjoying our, our friendship together, so. Doing great, baby. You want how, how you want to end this? How you want to end this? Yeah, stuff? yeah. I, I, I don't got to look too tipsy. Uh, 
I hope you guys like this video, enjoy this video, comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and share button so y'all can be notified every time I post 24-7. Say what? Say what? Ho. Ho. Don't play with me. me. Don't, Don't play, play with me. me. <laughs> and your girl Kevin Bree will be back in a what? Back Another in a what? episode. In another video. Let me take a little drink real quick because I know I got And I'll drink to that. Oh, let me get a little chicken real quick. The chicken a little cold though. But you know, huh? I'm a little tipsy and I got to eat. I cannot go to bed fully drunk, y'all. I have to eat. But, uh, hope you guys like this video. Blow the video. Comment down below with thoughts and opinions. And our girl came in. We will be back in the what? Next upload. Say what? Say, Say what? what? Ho. Don't play with me. Don't, Don't play, play with, with me.